Good day, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to continue with our database. We are still going to use our table VFCs, but today we're going to learn how to use combo boxes. To use a combo box, we go into our view, then click on design view. While we're here, we will go to our gender field. In our general tab, that's what we normally have, but now you're going to look up. You will choose combo box from the list here. On the second row, it says row source type. You will choose value list, which I've done. And then you will type in the values that you want to be put into the combo box. But please make sure that you enter each values separated by a semicolon. Then click on save. When you go to data sheet view, what happens here is down arrow. You will see the options are there for you to select one below the other. So I can change it. The reason for using combo boxes is that it eliminates much errors as the user can only enter data that has been selected via the combo box. Likewise, we can do one for grade, right? So again, click on the field grade, go to lookup, you will choose combo box, then you will choose value list, then the rows uh, source option, you can have in the different values, so like 10C, 11C, semicolon 12C. Very important to remember that we separate using semicolons. Save, data sheet view, down arrow, and there's our options that we can use. The comma box makes the life of data capture that much easier and reduces errors as well as saves time. In order to practice what I've just done, please turn to page 322 of your textbook and do activity three, which summarizes combo boxes. Thank you. I trust you will uh, realize how important combo boxes are, especially when you are using the combo boxes feature when you are doing your pet. Take care, enjoy.